Hey, what's up guys? I hope you guys are having a good weekend. So I actually went to uh, the shop and I paid them for the work and I got the quote and all that and I'll show you guys in a minute for my engine replacement. So pretty much the OEM engine is going to come out to about $4,050 and then the labor they charge uh, $175 per hour for 18 hours. And then there's like miscellaneous stuff like spark plugs, coolant, oil, filter, pilot bearing on the transmission, uh, the clutch area. And I, I put down a deposit earlier for three grand and then my current total came out to about 48. And then I also got some other stuff that I requested. So. I wanted them to change out the transmission fluid, the differential, the clutch fluid, and brake fluid. And then also, since the engine is detached from the transmission, uh, I just added this clutch. I, I don't need it, and I probably shouldn't be buying it right now. But I just figured, because there's no labor, that they could just pop it in. So I'll most likely my car back next week and that it, it should be cool it, it'll be most likely the, the last things that i ever do to that car because it's getting up there in age i, I enjoyed the car for what it is but on in financial terms it's probably not a good idea to be doing because if you're going to modify your car you have to understand that it would take a lot of time a lot of money and when things break um, I essentially didn't have my car for two months and the Ubers and all that, borrowing people's cars, it kind of adds up. I actually went to the car on Toro and it's it's pretty cool. But my area, they don't have a lot of uh, vehicles, so I actually had to Uber up to a, a different city. But just keep in mind that if, if you want to modify your car for power, that you're gonna have to modify each other part, for example, like tire, suspension, brakes, the the usual stuff, and it's gonna shorten the life of your, your motor, essentially. And I'm pretty sure the, the way I drove it, it probably shortened the life of the vehicle a lot more. And no, nobody's going to uh, turbo or supercharge their car and drive it like a grandma. They're just not gonna do it, so. Uh, the key keep these things in mind when you're considering modifying your car I was also thinking that if, if I just bought a car that can't came with big power that uh, I wouldn't have to modify the car I'll most likely <laughs> still modify the car because I know myself that I'll get bored yeah, pretty much I modified the car at 40k and then the motor went out before 90k and was it worth it um, i really really enjoy the car i love the car but from a financial standpoint it's a bad idea the, if i could just detach and not care about cars that would be the best financial move on i think um, i should more focus on long-term things and investments and all of that because you you never know also with, for this year i didn't have a security fund and a security fund is like six to 12 months expenses. And a lot of expenses came up for me that it was just super stressful. Like I had to pay a bunch of money on taxes. Uh, my mother came out for this month, so I had to save up a good amount of money for her. And then the, this big car bill, essentially. So just make sure that you know, you're able to pay for your expenses, you, you have an emergency fund just in case things break because you, you always have these problems. It's not a matter of if, but when the storm will come. And I, I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are having a really good year. So budget your money, your time. And just, just get dialed in on the things that you want for, for this year. And focus focus on a couple goals per month, per week. And see, see what your, your progress could be. So I've been trying to practice how to drive more slower or speed limit and sometimes 
it's kind of frustrating when you you get into like a cluster area where all the cars are like super slow versus just getting out of the area and then you know cruising back to uh, the speed limit but for sure i was driving a 2018 1.5t honda accord and then i also drove a 2022 accord hybrid and in the hybrid i was getting about 45 to 49 miles to the gallon and then in the 1.5t i was getting around 33 35 so I, I wonder what the difference is between the price is is it worth it to get a hybrid i, I like hybrid technology it's convenient but you also have to keep in mind that you have to drive the car for a certain amount of you know time for miles to make up the cost difference also for the honda accord it's kind of big it's a big car in my opinion that they should make smaller cars that if you're trying to save the planet like what what contributes most to pollution it's most likely you know farming making meat and essentially I'm, i've been guilty of eating too much food and if you're smaller if you're more fit uh, your carbon footprint will be less on Imagine if they made, if you were smaller, then why would you need a bigger car in my opinion? Alright, let me know if you guys have any other questions or comments. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what other content uh, you want me to make. I hope you guys have a good day. A nice Saturday. Alright, peace.